Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be the last video of the year and I thought I would show you guys the Celine items that I got. I'm not gonna do uh, what I got for Christmas video just because, I don't know, I just didn't feel like doing it this year but I did get really good gifts. Okay, so I got three things from Celine. Two of them are from Kevin and then one is from my mom. So obviously you guys know that one is a bag so I'm gonna open that last. But let me show you the stuff that Kevin got for me. So this is actually on my Christmas list. And then this one he just got because he's really thoughtful. So as you guys can see, it does have the perfume box. So this did have ribbon on it already. And I took off the ribbon just because it was so time consuming. It literally took me maybe like five minutes to take off each ribbon. So he got me a perfume. I don't know what's supposed to be in here. Truly, I'm not sure. Maybe they just didn't have the proper box for it. But and I actually have it. Oh, it's because it fell. I see. Okay, <laughs> this is actually on the bottom because I just took off the ribbon and then that was it. So there's little samples. Wait, let me put that together again just for the visuals. Because I was like, that's such a weird packaging. Okay, so redo of that. It's supposed to look like this. <laughs> I did not know that. I thought maybe they just ran out of packaging or something. So they gave me a sample of the Rainbow perfume and then the Cologne Bronx. So after I bought my Parade perfume, my SA, my amazing SA gave me a sample of Rainbow. And one more, I think it was black tie or something like that the samples are actually i honestly i was never really into perfume samples when i would go to sephora they would always give perfume samples and i truly just didn't care about it but now this is actually because it's actually such a good amount you probably can get easily like 10 15 sprays out of this which is fabulous so i'm gonna add it let me just smell these ones really quick so rebo i already know i like but cologne france let me okay i'm just gonna put it on it's risky in case it doesn't smell good Mm, I like it, but hmm, I feel like this is, it's very musky. I'm going to look up the notes for this one. So let me just open this really quick. Hold on. Okay, okay, okay. So this is the Rebo perfume, like I said. Oh my gosh. So anyway, so I got the sample of this one, and then I really, really, really wanted it. I was debating between getting this one or the Louis Vuitton Love Spell, but since Kevin got me this one, maybe that just means I should get the Love Spell one. Or maybe I should just not buy perfumes for a while and just smell like Celine, but oh my god, okay. Look at it! Do you guys see? See the color is a little bit different because the parade is a little darker, but look, now I have two Celine perfumes. Oh my goodness. Let me grab my other one just so you guys can see. Alrighty, so this is Parade and this is Rimbaud. Do you guys see the color difference? This one's a little bit lighter, but oh my gosh, now I have two Celine perfumes. Why did my friend start this addiction? Pero why? And then with the perfume, she actually gave samples too, and they're big samples. Do you see this? So she gave me like, do you see how big these bottles are? So let's say this is a normal sample size. And then she gave me the big one. So this is 10 milliliters. And then how many mill? And this is two milliliters. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Yeah, this is two milliliters. So this is five times the amount. So she gave me California. Look how cute this bottle is. Oh my gosh, I can't. Oh, it's a mini one. What? What? Are you joking? This is so cute. Do they just give these out? Or I wonder... Oh my gosh. And then I got black tie. I know black tie is like the top two most popular Celine perfume. And nightclub is really popular. But I believe black... Oh my gosh. Look. It even has the Triumph logo on the top. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. I literally can't get over it. What the heck? Even the bottle is ripped. This is literally a mini version. I'm sorry. You guys probably don't care. You're like, Maggie, can you open the other things? I just, this is so little. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. The next thing, so I already know what's in it. But when I opened it, my reaction, so I, when I saw two Celine boxes in my gift box, I was like, what? What could possibly be in here? And then I opened it. Okay, it's like, do you see how big my smile is? I was so surprised. Okay, ready? Look. He got me a Celine hat. This is the one that Lisa wears. 
almost every single time you see her out at the airport and it's it's a great hat so i did see this in person but i wasn't able to try it on so i'm not going to put it on right now just because i did put makeup on just to film this video but when i open this on christmas morning oh my goodness like it fits so well i'm a dad cap collector i have like the yankees one and like the dodgers one and whatever but this honestly fits so well in a vlog i'm gonna like show you guys how it looks but this is gonna be my new everyday hat after i got my beanie i just kept thinking about this hat and the fact that he got me this hat i'm like ah! he's the best literally the best oh my gosh it's so cute oh my god it's so cute <laughs> i can't literally cannot okay and then i seriously can't believe how cute this tiny bottle is i really wonder how much this is anyways the fact that they just give that out for samples is amazing and then obviously this so this is the christmas present from my mom i'm gonna take it i'm gonna show you guys i mean i feel like you guys know what this is i think it's like a 50 50 chance between two bags from celine that you guys know that i love I took out the exterior packaging, I'm not going to lie to you, but I didn't take off everything else though, so I'm going to show you guys. This is the bag. I feel like you can already tell what it is. Ready, guys. So it is the Mini 16 in the black. <laughs> okay, that's just... I'll take a moment of silence, how cute this is. Do you guys see how shiny... The calfskin is like it's so shiny. I feel like it's not focusing, but and then it does come with a strap and then the little like clochette. I don't know what this is actually called. I used to just call it a tag, and then I started watching Hermes videos, and then it's like, oh, is it a clochette? So I don't know if that's just a Hermes term, you know? Like bandeau is Louis Vuitton and Mitza scarf is dior and then twilly is hermes so i wonder if this is called something different if anyone knows let me know or if it's just universally called a clochette but so this is what the bag looks at do you see how roomy this is this whole front compartment is leather i feel like one of my fears though is that this part right here and then this part in the back are gonna start creasing but we shall see um this bag does not have feet is my only concern about this bag and he even says like celine right over there oh it's so pretty okay let me oh and there's a little sticker should i zoom in while i remove the sticker oh my god how do people do this Okay, that was not ASMR at all. Oh, and there's another sticker on the back. Oh, and then there's one more right here. Okay, I think those are all the stickers. Yeah, okay. So this is the strap. I believe. Actually, normally you know me, I would use my box cutter, but imagine my box cutter is very, very sharp. You see my voice is all calm now because I'm just like so, so entranced by this bag. Even my mom is like, this looks like the Hermes Kelly. And I'm like, yes, yes, it does look like that bag. So I'm gonna hook it like this. Is that how it's, is that how it's supposed to be? Honestly, I'm just like, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. And then here's the clochette with the little lock i wonder if this is gonna tarnish this lock because the louis vuitton ones do tarnish if you guys own an alma baby you know or a speedy or anything however my boston bag has this hardware and it hasn't tarnished or anything i believe this goes i need to look up a picture i've never assembled this hold on okay i'm back so it took me a while to get the clichette to face forward because i kept trying it and then it kept flipping over so this is what it looks like with the strap and then it has the clochette that says Celine on it. I don't know if you guys can tell, but oh, it's so cute. So this is the bag that Lisa basically made me fall in love with. Okay, so let me talk to you guys a little bit about this bag. If you want to 
check out now you're totally welcome to do so no hard feelings so ironically when this bag first got launched i believe the not the mini size because the mini size is relatively new but the initial launch of the 16 bag i'll post the picture of it lisa i think she was doing a campaign thing for the 16 and it's huge and it's really popular to come with that really big canvas strap and i actually wasn't a fan of it personally i didn't like it i I honestly thought it was ugly genuinely I did no offense if anyone bought it right when it got released and I don't know I even saw it in person and I didn't like it it just kind of looked like a weird briefcase style and then when I saw the 16 in person actually I remember one time I went into the Celine store and I saw the small brown one on display and the canvas one is the one that really like stole my heart initially i was so set on getting the canvas one but then i actually tried on the black one just put it against my body and i was like wait this is actually so 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 cute and then fortuitous timing i started seeing lisa on so many airport videos that she was using this bag non-stop and then i started to look up more pictures that this celine 16 bag style in general i think the small size so the size above this is actually so popular like Hailey Bieber loves it Lady Gaga adores the even bigger size Jennifer Lawrence really likes this bag as well and I'm such a consumer I buy things when I see someone else love it and like that's my mentality it's really easy to get me to buy something like what influencers target that audience that's me okay I already knew I liked this and then what pushes you over the edge to love it is kind of I know you don't get validated from other people but when a celebrity that i really like styles it and it looks really good and i know that they really like it as well then it reaffirms like okay i am making the right pick i do really really like this so after i saw so many pictures especially with lisa using this bag because when i first saw this i thought it looked very kind of like business-esque fancy and then i started seeing this bag being styled in more casual ways like at the airport or just running errands and yeah it just fully reaffirmed my love for this bag a lot of people even my mom when she first saw the mini 16 she's like that kind of looks like an hermes kelly and i was like yes so many other people think the same thing because it's like the top handle and like the structure of it and i feel like it's kind of like a more doable version of the kelly i want to add an hermes bag into my collection but honestly i'm in no rush if i wait like 20 years to get one i'm honestly not mad about it this will definitely feel fulfill me for right now and yeah i just love it genuinely it's like it's cool that it gives me kelly vibes but i bought it because it's a celine bag and i love celine and yes so my essay told me that because if you actually look up the mini 16 there's so many different variations on price not so many but it could start from 3300 oh really quick so this used to literally one month ago this bag was a hundred dollars cheaper so if you were able to buy this bag before the price increase high five i was not able to do that but it was a hundred dollars so it's not too too bad she was telling me that this one is more expensive because the type of calf skin that this is like the way that they treated it it's water resistant kind of is what she was telling me so if i took this out in the rain i wouldn't have to worry about it getting water spots obviously you're not gonna like run in like pouring weather but if it's like sprinkling or anything like that i don't have to worry about it getting water spots which i love do you see just how shiny it is oh so it's super cute this is why i'm wearing my black pink sweater just in homage to lisa so let me just show you guys as kind of it does fit on my wrist as well and then the strap is actually not that long i'll put the measurements of the strap so you can go like this but i could also put it around my head so this is kind of the length so it isn't adjustable i feel like if you have a longer torso this might fall on you a little bit differently but so my chest is about right here so it falls like very comfortable for me i can just like open it like this and there's a lot of space in it there's like a middle zipper compartment as well but yes yeah, so i finally got my mini 16 i've been talking about this for i feel like a couple months is like when my love for this like really really just like went into the stone this is definitely a forever bag i mean most of my bags are forever bags but this is like for sure a forever bag as well but yes yeah, so i finally got the mini 16 if any of you guys own this one i was debating between this one and then the white one i honestly might have gotten the it's called rice i might have i would have gotten the rice color if it did have feet on it but the fact that it didn't i would just be too paranoid 
setting it on a table setting it on something even if the leather is durable still like white is well it's white you know no regrets at all super cute i feel like this also contemporarily paused my yearning to get a black caviar chanel flap just because this is black and gold so i kind of have my like little taste of black and gold but yes alrighty guys so that concludes the end of today's little video this is the Celine items that I got for Christmas I'm so so grateful and so happy like and I just I can't get over like how tiny these are okay just so tiny <laughs> I know a lot of you guys have this hat so imagine if we bump into each other at the mall and we're both wearing this we have to take pics okay okay <laughs> alrighty as always if you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe it really helps support my channel and i'll see you guys next year happy new year guys bye guys just need your company